All right, here's another geometric proof. Uh, and it says the given angle two is congruent to angle three. We're gonna prove that angle one is congruent to angle four. All right, and usually they come with some sort of a picture or a diagram. In this case, we have a diagram over here. And I wanna mark up that diagram with what I know. And I'm starting with uh, two is congruent to angle three. All right, so two and three are gonna be congruent. All right, now I can't mark this up yet because that's what I'm trying to prove. I don't know that yet. But I, what I can do is put some of these um, statements in my statements and reasons columns. First off, uh, the first statement I'm given is two is congruent to three. Angle two is congruent to angle three. That's one of our freebies. And the reason for that freebie, the first one is another one, which is our given. You can always start with a given. Okay, and then in the prove category, I wanna put what that statement is, and that's that angle one is congruent to angle four. All right, now we gotta fill in the rest. And this is the hard part. What do I know? What do I know? What does this tell me? Well, eventually I'm gonna have to work with angle one, angle four. So let's start with angle one. And I know that angle one and angle two are congruent because of vertical angles. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say angle one is congruent to angle two. And the reason is vertical. All right, and then let's just double check, see if there's any other vertical angles on there. Because uh, we can always use the same reason for more than one statement. And I am seeing that three and four are also vertical angles. So I'm gonna say in the same statement up here, angle three is congruent to angle four, and that's for the same reason. All right, so um, what else do I know? So based off of this, um, I'm seeing that what about four and two, four and two, they're the, they're congruent up there. And I know that because I can substitute it in right here. Three is congruent to angle four and three is congruent to angle two. So if I replace this three with a two, since they're both congruent to each other, four is congruent to three, two is congruent to three. I'm going to say this angle two is congruent to angle four, and that was by substitution. So why does that help? That helps me because now I just need to go from two to one, which I already know because of up here in statement two. And again, we're using substitution to find that. Substitution, there we go. Substitution. So again, the way I found that real quick is I'm the only difference between uh, step three and step four is that this was a two and it was a one. So I need to find somewhere where two is congruent to one. I found that up in this statement because of the vertical angles. All right. So if I replace it, anytime you replace something, something, remember we use substitution. All right. And that proves that my proof statement angle one is congruent to angle four by those following reasons.